Afternoon, John. Uh, excuse the idea, it's bloody freezing inside the house. Not put the heating on yet. Um, yeah, generally, mate, looks like a decent week. Obviously, I've, I've taken note of the fact that you're probably not enjoying training out in the freezing cold. Um, to be honest with you, mate, it's not much warmer in the garage. I'm obviously training in the garage at the minute. I've not got a heater or anything. It's not much warmer in there, so I can really sort of sympathise with you and, and understand <laughs> what you're going through. Um, it's a fucking nightmare, these gyms being closed. But, you know, fair play to you, mate. You're getting your sessions in. You're ticking them off, you know. I mean, I've had a little look at you. Your training this week, and it looks to have gone pretty solid. Um, you seem to be getting stronger on, on, on some of the exercises, um, if not at least maintaining your strength. <clears throat> uh, obviously, I can see, like, for example, your body weight pull ups, you, you're literally you're managing 14 reps on your first set now, which is, you know, which is brilliant. Um, it's Ideal, mate. Absolutely ideal. So, so generally, your you, your strength's looking looking fine. Um, and I'd like to just keep grinding away on this program. Now, what I'm going to do next week um, for you, um, next probably next Thursday in time for our check in on Friday, I'm going to do you another uh, a home based home based cycle that I'd like you to 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 work from and stick with. Um, and just as a bit of a ch to change it up a little bit, you know, to keep it interesting, not because it's necessarily more effective, but it, it'd be quite good to do at home. Um, I'm going to incorporate uh, some different techniques called myo reps, uh, which you might not have heard of before, rest pause sets, which you've probably heard of, and also drop sets, which you would definitely have heard of. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to formulate a new program. Um, like I say, by next week. So at the moment, stick to the current program, and then I'm going to come up with with something new. Probably write something out next Thursday for you uh, in time for to start. Probably next Friday or, or, or the weekend, whichever is up to you. Um, and I'll just run through that with you during the next check in. Um, as I say, the reason for that is is not necessarily because it's going to bring you better gains, but I think it's going to help increase motivation, which will then secondarily improve gains because you know you've got a fresh program um keeps it interesting um some different intensity techniques to, to to make things a bit more difficult with you obviously training at home and have having less access to heavy equipment things like that so yeah um in terms of diet mate and in terms of your body weight obviously it has come down well it's you've essentially on average you've dropped three pounds this week um but saying that, um, obviously the weigh-ins, the post-Christmas weigh-ins, so on the 27th, the 28th and 29th, they were all like 214, 210, 208, and it's gradually come down since Christmas because obviously you didn't track on Christmas Day and Boxing Day, so no doubt you consumed shite loads of food and that's why your weight was up that week. But so 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 pretend last week didn't happen not last week the week before uh when it was christmas week and if you look at your averages i mean this past week you've averaged 206.8 week before christmas 205.7 205.1 204.8 so i think a calories are fine mate where they're at you know because we, we seem to be maintaining or even in, in some cases increasing um steps are fine at, at, at where they're at as well so i've got no issues there um I'm not going to change your food. No need to change your food. It's great to see that you're hitting your 300 gram or 307 gram protein target every day or most days. It's brilliant. Don't get me wrong. It's 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 a lot of protein. It's a lot of food. Probably a lot of meat that you're eating and things like that. But you know, it's got to be done. What I'd recommend is I don't know if you've heard of these actually. Um, they're called liquid egg whites, and you can get them from um, bulk. It's called bulk powders, um, and they sell liquid egg whites. And mate. I have them and I, I order like six one litre bottles. They're about 30 quid, 35 quid. And they're banging, mate. They're really good. Really good way to get your protein And You know, obviously you, you cook them like scrambled egg, stick them in the microwave, put a couple of whole eggs in 
and it makes then you make sure you, you don't go over your fat target and you know you're having a, a high protein content from having the egg whites and they come in like a liquid bottle and the, you could just store them in the fridge and they last once the bottle was open they last for two weeks and before the bottle was open they last for like three months but mate yeah i'd, I'd really recommend them it's one of the best buys that i've had it saves you cooking and eating meat all the time because sometimes you can you can get a bit fed up with that um but generally mate yeah keep doing what you do and i know i know it's shit at the minute and i know it's really hard you know with it being cold outside and you know uh, training's feeling more of an effort because you're training from home but just keep with it mate keep with it you know it's shit but it is what it is isn't it you, we we've just got to keep working we've got to keep working through it um it is going to end they are going to get this vaccine out it will get warmer soon, so that'll be make it a bit better training at home. So just keep going, John. Keep going. I know it's hard, mate. I know it, it can be shit and you probably don't enjoy some of the sessions, but keep going. Make sure you wrap up really warm as well for your sessions. Um, you know, I put about five or six, sometimes seven layers on and sometimes I wear gloves and I wear leggings and trousers over my leggings. And then as it get the session gets on, I strip, I strip after basically, basically after every exercise, I kind of strip a layer off as I get warmer and warmer, and then it's not too bad. All right then, mate. That's all from me for this week, and uh, let me know if you've got any questions. I'll speak soon. Cheers, John.